Hey everyone, I just want to talk a little bit about what I did before I got into human osteology. I actually started as an articulator, so I worked with a lot of animal bones, re-articulating them piece by piece, and that's what got me into the craft of osteology. Here you see me starting on a fox skeleton. This is a red fox, and usually when I articulate pieces, I start by working on the spine. That way I get an idea of the general composition of how the whole piece is going to look. Then after the whole spine is completed, then I go to adding the ribs and so on until the whole animal is done. So this is the second process of the build where I start to add the ribs and I finish off the neck of the fox. It's a really time intensive process but it's really really fulfilling once I finally complete a whole skeleton. I think it's really really an enjoyable thing to do and I think it's something that everyone should try at least once in their life. So these are one of my attempts at articulating. It's a super fun process and it really brings the piece to life and all I want to do with the business is showing the pieces and giving them a second life. Here is the finished piece. It's the fox skeleton. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Next, I worked on a Nubian goat. We're going through the same process where I start by articulating the spine together. This one took a little bit more time since it was a larger animal. I use Paleobond PX100, and that's the kind of glue that works really the best with porous material. And then I use an accelerator to speed up the hardening of the glue. It's a super fun process, but you have to make sure to use a respirator, that way you don't inhale any toxins that are bad for you. This is the final process of the Nubian goat. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I usually don't do articulations this big, but it was super fulfilling once I finished it. This last piece was me articulating a real human spine. I really believe that before I got into the ins and outs, I wanted to learn how things work. So I believe in really hands-on learning and feeling and getting to know the pieces one-on-one. -on -one. So if you enjoyed today's video, I really recommend subscribing and checking out some of the other work we do, such as the Instagram or our website. That's where we mainly house all the pieces. But thank you so much for the support today, guys. I just wanna show you a little bit of my process.